All right, well, welcome everybody. You are the faithful finishers. Congratulations. <laughs> you made it. And it's been a, a wonderful two days. I've enjoyed meeting so many of you and talking with you. And I, I'm just thrilled to be here. It's incredible what's happened in the last 12 months. Really incredible. Um, I, just to kind of set a little bit of context for the Canvas Authorized Trainer Program, I want you to know, those of you who are new to Canvas, that there were several pioneers in 2010 and 2011 that were sort of training before there was training, who were very generous about creating tutorial videos, contributing to a community wiki, and helping each other. And this program is done in that spirit. It's the spirit of our community helping each other to succeed. And so um, I hope that once you get a sense for how the program works, you'll keep that in mind, that really we want people to be cats who are committed to helping our community and helping everyone succeed. So my name is Allison Weiss. I'm the learning designer facilitator at Canvas. I have um, some colleagues who may be in the audience. Let's see, Jordan, are you here? Yay, there's Jordan. He's my colleague trainer, comes from the K-12 space, and he's helping, and then Kevin Erickson? No, he's our admin and support trainer. And then Ali and Michelle, our documentation queens. Are they here? Hopefully you got to see their presentation. Anyways, we are training at Instructure, and uh, we work really, really hard to deliver on-site trainings and also to provide you the resources that you need to remix and make your own training campaign. Is this scrubbing against Okay. All right. So um, I thought, I got teased earlier today because I didn't wear an Instructure t-shirt. And uh, it's just because I wore it for two days, you know. So um, anyways, I thought I would make up for it by sharing with you all of the Instructure memes that we have internally. This is Instructure Man, and you'll see him in some of our training courses. He's sort of our friendly face that shows up. Here's a little sad panda. Here's a pink unicorn. You know what's coming next. Yes, rainbows and monkeys with bananas. Anyways, um, we have a lot of fun at Instructure, and the CAT program is also designed to be fun. Why are we doing this? Um, first of all, to scale our training offerings and to allow each region the chance to meet its own needs. So every state has slightly different standards, situations, especially in the K-12 space. Every institution is a little different. And we want to scale our training offerings so that they can be customized to meet those needs. We also want to con convert a bunch of you fans out there into experts and um, prepare you to deliver high quality on-site trainings. So um, primarily, this is within your organization. And then with your organization's approval, you may be able to deliver trainings as a freelance trainer in your region. These are on-site trainings. We also like to gather data from each region and learn what your challenges are. Your sort of cats will become our eyes and ears out there and help feed back to us, hey, you know, these are the gaps. These are the training gaps. This is what we're really seeing you need to, to fill for the community. And so then in partnership with you, we will co-create the materials that are highest priority. Obviously, we want to set a high standard for the use of technology in teaching and learning. And we want to leverage your creativity and help share those resources that you've created um, with the wider Canvas world. So what is the CAT program not? Well, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, this program will require a time commitment, and the bar is set high, intentionally high. And that's because we're looking for people who, at least for a season of their professional lives, can really stay up to date with the product, right? Every two weeks, our product is being updated. We can't have CATs who are six months behind. So there's a pretty high bar for you know, what you need to do to stay in the program. Um, it's not dished out like candy. We have high standards, not free. There is a financial commitment. Um, we haven't published the fee schedule yet, but it won't be out of this world. 
it should be something that your institutions feel comfortable paying. And um, the fees are there, first of all, to show that you're committed, and that you're really interested in this, and also to cover overhead. So we're not trying to make a ton of money off the program, but we do want to fund it properly. Um, it's not designed for the casual Canvas user. This is a professional commitment. We're looking for professional uh, trainers who will represent in structure uh, with class. We're not um, just a piece of paper either. In fact, probably you won't have a piece of paper. By the time um, we're done with our first cohort, you'll probably get a digital badge. How many of you have explored digital badges? Awesome. So you'll have a digital badge you can put on your LinkedIn profile or uh, somewhere public to show that you are a cat. Um, you won't, this this um, program is set up in six month um, cycles and uh, it won't be automatically renewed. So uh, we need cats who are engaged. And we're, it's sort of, we're creating a um, kind of a fluid community. So if you as a professional um, find that you're getting too overwhelmed with other commitments, this program will allow you to take a break and then come back in the next cycle when you feel like, okay, I can, I can keep up with Canvas again. So again, our qualifications are high, but they are also soft. So let me explain just a little bit. Um, we do want people right now who are embedded in the K-12 or higher ed space currently. Okay, and we might change that later, but right now that's for a pilot. We really want people who are currently employed at a K-12 or higher ed institution or active as a corporate trainer. And we'd like you to have two plus years of training and or ed tech experience for this first group. Um, and preferably a bachelor's or master's degree or a valid certificate in instructional design, education, or online learning. Now, I say soft because if you have some other qualifications you want to share with us that substitute for one or more of these, we're happy to take a look at those. But in general, that's kind of uh, what we're looking for. So what do cats really care about? And this is where you kind of have to have a gut check and see, do I fit this profile? Cats care about solving problems. They are expert problem solvers. In, in the world of Canvas, you know, we have so many problems to solve. They are problems related to the technology, but they're also problems related to learning. And how best to use Canvas to enable learning. If that's your passion, then maybe you should consider being a cat. Also, cats are connected. They're probably blogging, they're on Twitter, they, are, they have a wonderful professional network, and they want to grow that network. They're always learning, and also cats have the ability to teach with empathy. What I mean is that when they're in front of a group of people, they're really in tune with the level of their students, adult students and mostly, and that they're willing to tailor their instruction to those needs. So there, there's some skill there, because um, you won't be getting a script. I mean, you, there's a, a curriculum that you will have, an approved curriculum, but we want you to be able to flexibly adapt that to the needs of your people at your institutions. Um, also, we want you to be able to think creatively and model resourcefulness, because that's what the Canvas end user needs to be that, and so we want you to model it. Okay, so how does this work? Well, it's in three phases. There's a cat preparation phase, the cat program, and the cat renewal. And the, the cat preparation phase is open to everyone in this room. It's absolutely free. And at the end of the presentation, you will get a little bit.ly link, and you'll be able to go to this open enrollment course and join it and prepare for as long as you'd like. There's no deadline, and you can stay in that course and keep learning. The, the course is not finished yet, so September 1st is when all the modules will be done. But there's enough in there to kind of get you started. So there's the CAT preparation. Then at the end of your preparation, you will submit an application with a small fee, again, just demonstrating that you're committed. And then when you go into the program and are accepted into the program, we have an eight-week sequence where you learn all of our curriculum. And after you've learned the curriculum and the Canvas Advisory Board has said, yay, you're great, 
then your official cat will grant the digital badge and you will be able to maintain that badge for a year, at which time you'll need to renew. Okay? So that's just the general kind of um, lay of the land for this program. Sure. Okay, the question was about the renewal, and I think I'll answer it in just a second. So let's talk about each of those phases in detail. Um, for preparing, um, again, enroll in the Canvas 107 preparation course. During the sixth month, we've divided the year into six months. So you have a fall and a spring term, we might call it, okay? And during the fall term, you'll need to log and document 40 cat hours. And in the course, you'll learn what it means to, to document or log a cat hour. It just simpl simply means that you are learning about the product. That can be by watching videos. It can be by attending InstructureCon like you are today. So if you want to go into the course today, you can log time you spent at the conference. Um, and there's a variety of other things like reading Canvas guides or watching our tutorials, all kinds of things that you can do to learn the product. Um, so you're, you'll be logging 40 of those hours. You'll also deliver and log eight hours of Canvas training. And you can chunk that out into two-hour segments if you'd like. Um, but it's important that the people going through this preparation phase are already fairly sophisticated teachers and trainers. Okay? We're, not, we're not in the business of training you how to train. We want you to come to us with some skills already developed, and then we will give you the curriculum and entrust you with the opportunity to, to, to help other people learn Canvas. But it's a privilege, and, and it's a responsibility. Um, there's also this requirement that's a little fuzzy right now. This is, a, you know, we're launching the program, so we're still figuring some of the details out. But there, there will be a requirement to submit 10 quality training deliverables. And what we'll do is we'll have a list of best practices, and we'll just want you to submit examples of those best practices. So you can pick from a long list 10 of those best practices and demonstrate that you can actually do that. And then pay the application fee, which is not outrageous. OK, so once you've paid the fee and been accepted into the program, that's when you'll go through this eight-week intensive course where we'll introduce you to the curriculum and help, um, help you master it and also give you a forum for improving it. Because again, this is a, always a two-way conversation. Um, and during that second six-month period, which would start in January and go through June of next year, uh, you'll be required to log an additional 40 hours of learning. And believe me, there's going to be so many new things coming out that uh, that will be time well spent and plenty of things to learn. So at the end, we'll interview you. Um, you'll receive your CAT designation. And if you go through the proper channels at your organization or your institution, for in the case of higher ed, signing some kind of conflict of interest release form or in K-12, um, you know, talking to your manager, making sure that everything is kosher. This is really important. But if you do that and you pay an additional fee, this is an add-on fee, then you will be able to freelance in your region. Okay? Um, but as you go about freelancing, that still all of those training opportunities need to be cleared through us. So we're really, at, at least initially, we're going to have a pretty tight control over what's happening out there in the field. Okay, so let's say that you decide to prepare from now until December and apply, and then you become a part of our spring cohort next year, and we grant you the CAT designation. Then after that, you will need to continue learning the product. And um, the following spring, you'll need to document, once again, your 40 CAT hours and tell us that, yes, I'm, I'm staying up to date with the product. Um, we'll have guidelines that you'll need to work within. Um, we want you to maintain contact, and we'll have some CAT conferences, virtual conferences, where we can join forces and learn from each other. So here's the timeline, just to kind of give you a visual. The course is open today. 
but the, all of the modules won't, won't go live until September 1st. At the same time the modules go live, our Learn Canvas portal will go live. And the Learn Canvas portal will be a place where the freelance cats can post their profile. And um, if, again, this is all pending in institutional approval, we'll be able to post your profile and share that so that people in your region can find you. The deadline would be December 31st for the spring cohort. We'll notify you mid-February. Um, you'll pay your program fee and then we'll start our first cohort. And it will be a pilot, right? So. Um, this first phase, I definitely am inviting the brave, right? The brave and uh, the pioneers. And then uh, we'll recognize you at next year's InstructureCon. The little uh, Nyan cat it represents our cat conference, which we'll have every six months. And then the fall cycle begins. So we had a spring cycle and now a fall cycle. Same thing, except for the fall cohort will be October through December. And we'll start over again. Okay, so that's kind of how the timeline looks and you'll have access to this presentation so you can study it and make sure. So a um, couple of things that there will be a CAT advisory board who will qualify candidates and um, you know some of this is still forming but just be aware that there will be more people looking at who's representing in structure even if indirectly we really do want to um, control for quality. And a reminder that this is a regional program, right? So these uh, trainings that you're delivering will be on site and in your region. Um, no webinars, no um, kind of virtual trainings right now, just on site. And what we've done is we've looked at our regions in the US and Canada, and as we grow internationally, and we've set some caps for the number of cats that can be in each region. And we're doing that, um, first of all, just to be cautious as we go through our pilot cycle. And second of all, because we don't want to saturate the market, if we have too many freelance cats in a region, then it will be too difficult. Um, but that being said, because it's a fluid program, if for some reason we're not able to accommodate all the freelance cats who, who apply, um, there should, be, there should be some fluid rotation where uh, I might say, you know, this year I need to take off and a spot opens up and we'll let somebody else in. But we're trying to control a little bit for that supply and demand. The caught caveat is that you should expect some tweaking during the first year. I'm giving you, um, you know, from the front end what we think this thing is gonna look like, but just know that we're going to learn alongside you for the first year. <laughs> so, what will you be able to do? Well, you'll be able to deliver our approved CAT curriculum in your region, on-site only. You will, there will be some legalese around this, but you will be able to negotiate pricing structure as independent contractors. So if you're in the K-12 space and a neighboring school district says, we would love for you to come share what you learned and do a day-long faculty workshop, you will work that out independently. And um, anyway, more details around that, but that's something you'll notify us, but you'll work out the details independently. And um, you'll be able to promote your official CAT badge on the internet and customize the curriculum that we give you to meet client needs. And you'll learn more about that during the, the cohort experience. So this is what we have right now in our curriculum for on-site training. We have a getting started module, a course design module, a migrating to Canvas module, training strategies, collaboration, and a Canvas Q&A format. Uh, this will evolve also. So, but for now, you can expect to learn those modules and then be able to deliver them in a customized fashion to your um, region. This is a sneak peek of the Learn Canvas portal, which um, we're working really hard on. And uh, the navigation may change a little, but you can see the resources tab at the far right. Um, you'll, there will be a section dedicated to the 
the cat program, and that's where you'll be able to see profiles of people who are actual freelance cats. All right. So after this program, you should be able to go to bit.ly forward slash cat program. And um, there's an email if you have any questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions. We're very open to that. Just shoot us an email. And are there any questions? I'm sure there are questions. Yes. Yes. Is that yes, that's the default. I didn't explain that very well. So she asked, I just want to teach at my institution. And the default setting for the cat, if you want to say it that way, is that you will only have permission to teach at your institution. And then if you want to be a freelance, you need to go through the proper channels, get permission, and pay an additional fee. So there's a second step if you plan on training outside of your institution. Okay? Yes. You bet. Yes. Hopefully, you know what? If um, you might want to wait till just five minutes after the prezzo, it might not open. Okay? Because I kept it closed. Okay. Five more minutes. Any more questions? Yes. Um, yes. Well, we require two years of two years of experience. So, specific to Canvas, then you're you're doing great. The only requirement then is to log an additional forty hours of learning, right? Because the product is all, always changing. But yeah, you're set. The, the 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 years of experience you've already had training at your institution won't count toward anything in the preparation phase. Um, except for that while you're doing your training deliverables, you might already have some training um, instructional tools that you've developed, and you'll be able to submit those for that piece. But the time isn't retroactive. But as far as like, yeah, just the eight hours of training. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I think, well, and this is something we might need to finesse, but I think I, I, I would rather that happen during that six-month term. Yeah, it'll be ongoing. Exactly, because the profile we're looking at for this first phase are the people who are already doing this like on a daily basis, right? And you may able, be able to work with your institution and double count your hours as professional development hours for your institution as well as for the program, but you'll just need to work with your institution. Any other questions? Yes. Um, yeah, two, two things. Uh, as far as you mentioned the deliverables, Potentially, um, the deliverables will be in all kinds of formats. So there might be a video clip of you training. There might be a handout that you develop. There might be a module for a faculty course that you developed around Canvas. So um, what we're interested in more than the format are some best practices and a kind of a deeper understanding of faculty development. That's what we're looking for. And yeah, second question. Would you have, his question is, would you have to promote your own services or could we expect Canvas to feed us opportunities? And the answer is, I don't know. I really don't. Well, it'll be really interesting to see what the demand is as we grow and as we scale. But I mean, in principle, I have no problem if a special opportunity comes up and our team isn't able to meet it to feed that to you. But we'll just have to see how the program evolves. Yeah, any other questions? Yes. For a, a Canvas administrator? I think right now, and we can talk and talk about maybe a different flavor of cat for admins. Is that what you're talking about? Um, I think right now it's focused on training delivery, on-site training delivery, and we'll see. We'll see. 
Uh -huh. And any other questions? All right, we'll have a wonderful evening and we'll see you in a year.